I'm Milin Jaoliev. I'm a co-founder of ARC Academy. It's a learning platform for future creators. And uh, we want to help young people to unleash and grow their potential in creativity and help them to start a career in branding, game, film, space design. I've been a sales representative in UPS. I even had a, my own brand and shops for lingerie. ARC is, is a kind of connection between students and their aspirations and business and their possibilities. And as an abbreviation, it stands for aspiration, responsibility and creativity. The brand is like a friend. You, there is a lot of things that you could, you could judge by seeing someone. It's how, how he's dressed, so it's like a logo everything but uh, actually you understand what is really brand when at the time when you feel it so actually the brand is uh, needs to have a soul dreams everything that you can <coughs> touch it you can measure it but something that brand stands for the soul of the brand it's actually is a projection of your own dreams and beliefs so we create by start thinking and putting on the table what you dream for, what you believe, so we, and you project it on the brand. When you start a business, <coughs> the brand, as we said, is the, actually is the pieces of everyone. So it's, the brand is a projection of the team, so everyone brings the, the brand in his heart. Everyone is responsible when you go somewhere and for the pitch or for the coffee for someone and you start talking. So everyone starts judging the, the brand by the personal relations with the, the, with, the, with, the, with the team. I think at the moment uh, one of the biggest mistakes is that people spend too much time on the creating brands and shaping and, uh, and crafting the brand. But the reality is that brand uh, start to shape to, to shape um, himself when you start working on. So once you start uh, the real the real things to do. It's not good strategy to start with the brand before having a product uh, because. Uh, you don't know how the brand should look like and feel like. But, uh, but yeah, so once you have the, let's say, clear vision about the product, so it's a good time to start with the brand. Once you have the idea, you should start communicating. So me and my partner, we put the, we just roughly shaped the idea about the ARC Academy and uh, and even that at that time it wasn't ARC. So, and we start talking about this uh, because it actually, everyone helps to shape the product. You should know your segments, but uh, <clears throat> when you think, especially when you're a small company, when you think about your segments, you should, you need to know very, uh, the real person behind the segment. If, uh, if, for example, my brand is B2B and I recognize you as a, as a part of my segment, I should go deeply understand what, what drives you, what, what things uh, actually you're interested about and what, what is the kind of the, your behavior in the media and the day-to-day -day, so I should know very precisely how to target you. Once you create your segment you should start thinking very specifically about the people, the persons that you know and start thinking how should I reach this guy. With the B2C the image of the brand is very very important so it's because actually people decide mostly based on the image of the brand. With the B2B what is the most important is uh, customer experience, so the personal experience with the sales guy, with the, with the tech guy, with everyone that is uh, part of, the, part of the, the business. Years ago, thinking about rebranding, it was something, so people, the brands, they spent years and years after, before they decided to rebrand, but now it's 
I don't think it's a problem. I mean, uh, if you have a feeling that you have to change something, actually, the company start with one idea and product, and they they just they fit with one brand. And as as I said previously, they they spend too much time thinking and overthinking about the brand, and they sometimes they pick very very specific brand. But after that, their strategy change and they broader uh, the business and the brand's brand is not working anymore. So it's, you just change it. With the right communication, you could change it. What's the right communication? I mean, you should explain why you're a brand, what's next and why the, the next brand and the next uh, product and business should be better and bring something more for people. It's a, it's, a, it's a strategy, sometimes it's a strategy, but also it's a good strategy when you know where you want to go next, so you are branded because you know, you know where you go next. So. so we could put it on the two dimensions, when you know and when you don't know. Mm -hmm.